Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. Just arrived at New Orleans. We're looking to establish contact with Horton, somebody who can help us... Uh, well, I think they're a member of the Resistance here in New Orleans, so we're trying to basically get them on our side and let them know that we exist and that we want to help, and hopefully they can help us as well. I'm really curious what New Orleans is going to be like. I mean, New Orleans, just outside of this game, is a very interesting place geographically. It's very strange. Large large parts of it are under sea level. Has a lot of uh, issues and, and dangers when it comes to water. Obviously Hurricane Katrina hit there. There's a lot of marshlands. Uh, just overall a pretty wet and interesting place. That sounds weird to say, but yeah, it's interesting. And then of course this version of it has a massive concrete wall put around the whole damn place, turned into a ghetto. I don't know, I think it's going to be interesting. Blaskowitz, I need you to make it to the other side of the Great Wall. Look for any kind of opening that will grant you passage to the inside of the wall. Yeah, right, we gotta get into it first. Also, really disturbingly, if you listen really carefully, you can hear distant screams and gunshots from inside. I'm pretty sure that's the Nazis rounding up and killing people. Because we were told that ever since I set off the nuke, I think, it kind of poked the hornets. Whoa. Oh, fireflies. I kind of poked the hornet's nest of the Nazis, and then they've started cracking down on people even more than they were before. So I guess instead of just sectioning them off in a ghetto, they're murdering all of them directly. So yeah, it's just out my new silenced magnum pistol. We'll see how it is. Secrets? Oh, I should check the water for secrets, huh? Although there's a bunch of mines in the water. I can't imagine my body could set off a mine, right? You probably need more weight than that. I hope. Please tell me you need more weight than that. Ah, there's an invisible wall. Okay. Was that an alligator? Christ, Captain. Not much sign of civilian life from up here. I hope we're not too late. I feel like that might have been an alligator. Let's go with the shotgun for now. Probably use the stilts to get up there. Secrets? Newspaper. Time is running out. 27th of December, 1948, Washington. Rescue operations to Manhattan have been paused due to acute radiation sickness in the first responders, sources in Washington say. A large number of freight trains and trucks carrying medical equipment, food, and water are stalled 10 miles outside the city borders waiting for the government to provide radiation protective suits. However, persistent rumors in Washington claim that authorities don't have a stockpile of the required equipment and were unprepared for an attack of this kind. Meanwhile, sources say survivors of the atom bomb blast have taken refuge in Manhattan subway stations, waiting for authorities to come to their rescue. But time is running out. Food, water, and even the air is highly poisonous from radiation. Meanwhile, the Germans are closing in on our shores. The next 48 hours will be crucial in their survival. Yet, there is no word on when the rescue operations will resume. Joy's letter. Where? Wait. Where was that letter? Rat? I heard a rat. Is that my rat friend? I'd like to think they're still along with me. After all this time. Through the old blood and even now. Ever since we were a kid and kicked over that bucket. Joy's letter, May 29th, 1951. Jonas. I'm just about fuming right now. Had a visit from a Reich representative yesterday. Old Roger's son, Bucky. Remember him? That boy joined up quick after the Germans took over. Anyway, he told me that'd be uh, they would be claiming all of my farm for the Reich. Can you believe it, brother? 
all my beautiful alligators will be gone before the end of summer. They tell me, and there ain't nothing, nothing I can do about it. Frankly, I'm at wit's end here. They won't listen to me. These alligators, they're all I have in this life, for God's sake. Listen, buddy, can I come stay with you for a while up in Washington? I know things haven't been right between us since Pa died, but the past is the past. Maybe there's a chance I can get my business back again, if I just go and talk to the right people in Washington. Or maybe you can help me out. I know you have money from that shop business of yours. They won't do anything to New Orleans, will they? Right soon, brother. Yeah, so obviously I can go up there. That'll probably take me inside. Oh, there's just a ladder. I was thinking I'd have to do this. Yeah, but let's search around outside first. <laughs> can I fit in there? Come on, I got the compression thing. Don't feed the animals. Can't be any alligators in there, right? Water's almost all gone. Whoa. Okay. Wait a second. Wait, I can still do that? Remember that thing, that ability from forever ago, from the suit? I just assumed I couldn't do it though because I don't have the suit, but I guess... Uh... Maybe the new body has a similar ability? Not that it matters, it's useful in seemingly exactly zero situations other than the time I think you have to use it at the very beginning when they first give it to you. Yeah, I love checking out these... Uh, I mean... Not really... I guess it's sort of post-apocalyptic. It's not like there has been an apocalypse, but... It's post-apocalyptic-y. Save America. January 4th, 1949, New Orleans. Multiple sources within the temporary Nazi regime in Washington informs us that the propaganda ministry will roll out a new law called the Patriotic Speech Mandate tomorrow. The law is designed to rein in news articles that could hurt the new regime's agenda to push their ideology on the American people. With the election system already having been, been dismantled and the Nazis purging of all the Supreme Court judges, the new law is the quiet death of democracy's last bastion, the free press. We've been fighting to write the truth even as our own government surrendered to the Nazis. Tomorrow, this newspaper, together with all others in America, will become mouthpieces for your Nazi oppressors. Do not trust it. In the defeat of the U.S. forces, we saw the birth of local resistance group groups. We at this newspaper fought the best way we could with ink and paper. Now, as they disarm us of our weapons, we ask you not to give up yours. Do not let this be the final chapter of the story of America. Light this hellish night on fire and create a new dawn for liberty. Organize. Fight. Endure. Oh. Hmm. Well, it's not inside the wall, but it's some sort of a Nazi place, and obviously you can go in there. I can't, because I don't have the, the right tool for it, but... I wonder where that leads. Seems like there's really multiple pathways, huh? Wait, that is the wall? Oh, it is the wall. I just got turned around. Cool attention to detail. Even the fan spins. Jimmy's Postcard, July 1946. Hope you're proud of me now, Papa. Tomorrow we ship off to Scotland for the big fight. I will do my duty to protect this great country. For you and Mama. 
When I get back, I hope you can look me in the eye and call me a man. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just funny. Jimmy went off to war so that their... Their papa could call them a man. Jimmy? That's just like one big cliche. <laughs> Golden alligator. Actually, we got a couple more things. Right back around where we spawn, there's this little section for this building. A couple things to pick up. Like Tony Smooth. Oh, a record. That's about as much as I'm willing to listen to before I worry about a copyright strike. to use this pistol. Come on, give me some Nazis to shoot. Or KKK, I'll take that too. Yes. Pretty heavily armored. Hope this thing kills them in one hit. Oh, I hear a big one. There's no way this thing's taking them down in one hit, one of those big ones. Oh, right. Right, right. I gotta remember, the constrictor harness allows me to move um, without crouching, and it'll, it'll... I think I'll move silently if I'm not crouched, just like this. Of course, people can still see me easier, but they won't be able to hear me. So I don't need to move quite as slow, generally, I think. And I also have that ability that when I get spotted, time slows down. I don't know if that will allow me to avoid being spotted, or just gives me like a couple seconds to deal with them as they spot me. Probably that one. Give me. Give me. Oh. They're coming all the way over here. Nice. Gotta stop crouching. I don't need to do that so much. Terror Billy's Execution, highest rated TV hour in history. Uh, yay, I'm a star. 30th of July, 1961, Berlin. The televised execution of William Blaskowitz was the highest rated hour in TV history, with millions of viewers around the globe. The world, and especially the American territories, drew a collective sigh of relief. <laughs> sure, as Terror Billy met his just end by the swift blade of General Engel. The trial and death of the world's most evil terrorist marks the end of a period of wanted violence and the beginning of the Reich's thousand years of peace. Our beloved Fuhrer has announced that the day of Terror Billy's execution will be a national holiday called Justice Day. This will be a day of remembrance dedicated to everyone we have lost to the heinous crimes of agents of chaos, just like William J. Blaskowitz, said the Fuhrer. Beginning the Reich's thousand years of peace. Yes, peace. That is definitely what we have now. Rounding up and killing people in New Orleans. As well as probably everywhere else. That was very useful. That slowdown? That was very good. Yeah, it's actually, that's amazing. I really don't need to worry about walking too fast now. Well, let's test it out again. Okay, well. Maybe that wasn't the best thing to do, like that.
Great. Very useful, but don't just assume you're going to be fine. Yeah, I do just have all of those abilities that it lists here in contraptions. Yeah, these, you don't have to, like, get upgrade kits for them. I totally misunderstood that. You do just have all of them, definitely. Because, um, adrenaline? No. This one? Stamina. Um, overcharge health begins to deflate only when taking damage. So if you look at my health, I'm not taking damage. It's not deflating. It's at 199. Already went in here, right? Or is this another place? Oh, I think it's a. Oh, yeah, this is a different one. Uber Commandant Ackerman's e post to wall security regarding detainee hygiene and health issues. Men, I know there's been complaints regarding the handling of detainees. Some of you find them repulsive and they smell like corpses that they are dirty and even contagious. Well, I hear you and I understand you. Make no mistake about that. Therefore, I will arrange for you to bring portable water tanks and high-pressure hoses with which you can clean the worst offenders efficiently. I think the solution will be sufficient to make a better workplace for all of us. There's a big one over there. Heck yeah, I got a map that I never use. Let's get that damn commander. floor up. Shit. Ooh. Okay, this is new. Comf pistol. Has that been there for a long time and I never noticed it? I think that's what the super uber commander whatevers have been shooting at me that seems to just instantly kill me. They're just shooting an explosion. Uh, basically a grenade directly at me. Do I have that? Have I had that for a long time? I probably have, because I only switch weapons by the number keys, not by holding down the weapon wheel, so if I had new weapons, I wouldn't even notice it. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade that. Yeah, so basically, increased accuracy, load up multiple shots at one time, or a rocket, which... Um, I think... Hmm... Yeah, I don't think it increases damage or anything like that. I think it just makes it so they travel like a rocket instead of a grenade, so they go perfectly straight. Which sounds very good. I, I definitely want them to go straight. Let's get that. Yeah, so do I have it? I do. Well, hello. God, that is such a heavy and cool looking pistol. Let's 
so that's normal and that's rocket I love how the different modes for all the weapons has a different effect, like a different actual visual effect when you activate and deactivate it. It feels good to see something move, like a little tab or a little setting or whatever it is on each weapon. Like look at the one for the rocket versus grenade. That's very cool. I like details like that. So what number key is that? Oh, it's number six. I can dual wield. <laughs> oh god. Number six. Alright. Ooh. Well. There's the commander. Nice. Who wants to fight me? Anyone? Is there anyone left? Let's see if I can slide under this thing. Get to get to the other side. Oh, I didn't quite make it. Pretty good on equipment. Secret little comf pistol place. How do I get over there? I could, whoops. I could probably jump it. Do you have to? Yeah, that's... Oh, wait. Ah. Well, it doesn't really get me all the way over there, but... It gets me this, at least. More comp pistol stuff. Ah, had to go to the stairwell on the other side to continue. Blazkowicz, head for the old American bank building. That's where Horton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. Holy shit. American bank. What's a dollar worth these days? This place is just an, in utter ruins. I guess I should just start shooting them from up here, huh? I mean, they can't get to me up here. I don't think. Let's go for it. It looked terrifying. So at least one more person that I saw. Well, while I'm waiting for them, let's get the cat. Where did the cat go? Kitty. Well, that's not good. I don't want to have to go down there to fight that thing. Actually, you know what? I'll be fine with a comp pistol, right? Oh, wait a second. Whoa! There it is. Holy crap. I think it's got a weak point on its back. Alright, I'm just gonna go down. Kill each other. <laughs> oh, it scared the hell out of me. I didn't save it, did I? Nope. Okay. Try number two.
Resistance fighters note. You're not taking me alive, you evil Nazi motherfuckers. If there is a hell, you'll roast on Satan's fire spit for an eternity, you pathetic assholes. Fuck you. T. The note is stained with big blotches of blood. Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot that body. I'm just taking a drink of some. Oh shit, there goes my cover. Oh, I have two hit points. Okay. Yeah, cool. Place to be. Bad place. Grenade. Throw the grenade. Yeah, fucker. Feels like there's a commander calling reinforcements, but there's no, no commander listed. Alright. I desperately need armor. But I think I picked it all up from these people. Well, almost all of it. Get some more scraps out here. You might not have to press E to pick up stuff, but it does give you a wider like range, you do have to like be right on it to pick it up. So if you mash E, it can kind of get you more than you'd normally get. What the hell was that? Uh... Do that? What the hell? Huh. I don't even have that, uh, that contraption. The ram shackles that allows you to ram through stuff. I would expect that to happen if I had it, but I don't. Move before I even touched it. What the hell's happening? Let's go check out these burning buildings. John Sonny. I think that's it for this place. Pretty well equipped. I could really use some more ammo for these guns though. Pretty low.
just took out all those Nazis. That was fast. Great Wall of New Orleans finished. 5th of May, 1952, Washington. Following a glamorous inauguration ceremony yesterday, the Great Wall of New Orleans was officially opened. Many famous generals, celebrities, and ministers of the regime attended the audience. This wall is a protection for ordinary citizens of the American territories, said the head architect Sebastian Williamson during his inauguration speech, which received a rousing standing ovation from the audience. To keep the virus of terror and malice away from the public so everyone can carry on with their lives in peace, knowing that we are building a better future for us and for the Greater Reich. I really like this environment. I don't know, it's just so interesting to me. That water's so beautiful. So wet. Ah, oh, dang. Too deep. Big easy. Can't undo your tragedy. But I can punish the people responsible. Shit. Ah. Blaskowitz is so slow at swimming. <laughs> Just walk on top of the cars. Nice. What if I shot him? Whoa, that one just teleported. What if I shot him right away if I could have stopped that execution? Anyway. Oh, hold on. I got, I got better tools for you. Yeah, his comp pistol is really good against heavies. Imagine if I got the upgrade that allows me to charge up to three, three, sh oh, three shots at the same time. Damn, haven't done a takedown in a while. Looks like I got a shortcut through this building. Sorry, friends. I, think I can go in there. Or up there. Should I become tall or small? S M O L or T O L? Hmm. Let's become tall. down here or are they upstairs? Looks like the basement of a mechanic. Hmm. Anyway, I think this is actually probably a pretty good place to end the episode. Kind of the start of a new place with commanders. Uh. Huh. That really looked destructible. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.